Hello, in this third tutorial, I'll show you how to make this image carousel with text and hyperlinks as well, so you can actually link to whatever call to action you have. Now, in the, our last video, we created this fixed top navigation, so we'll just go ahead and add the carousel uh, right under that. Okay, so here we are on my desktop where I've saved uh, the web page that we've created this for, and I'll go ahead and open uh, our index page in Notepad++, and this is the navigation we have um, only thus far, and this is what it looks like um, in the Google Chrome browser. So this is where we're starting, and we'll add our carousel from here. Okay, I've sped up the uh, the video a bit there so we can get through this coding. Okay, I just created, I created a carousel comment, and do you have any car carousel example? You can use whatever ID you choose to. Two classes, carousel slide. Uh, and then within the carousel, there are three components, the indicators, the wrapper itself, where you create the uh, image and text, and then the, um, the controls. So in the, the indicators will be an ordered list, always starting with zero, and there's only one active class at a time, so we'll just go ahead and delete those two active classes. Data slides start with zero and then move on to one and two. Um, again, here's the wrapper. This is where the actual image goes, uh, as well as the text. And again, this will be the, um, the wrapper that contains the current active image. And I'll just use place hold it, um, 1800 by 500 with a hex code of purple there. I forgot a quote before the image source, by the way, so be sure to include a quote. Also, the href should be pound, not three. And there we go. And this is, uh, again, had a purple paragraph. Nice. And let's take a look. Okay, I've launched the page in Google Chrome, and you can see here we have our 1800 by 500 placehold it. Um, purple hex code and our three indicators on the bottom there. We just need to add our next two items as well as our previous and next controls. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste the item and remove the active and change the hex code to green and purple and the text to match so we know what we're looking at. Okay, so this is what it looks like with all three items added. We'll just go ahead and add our previous and next controls now. Okay, and last we're going to go ahead and add the controls, the left and right. And previous and next spam class glyph icon, Chevron left. And I'll just copy and paste that and create one for the right control, the next control. All right, and here is our finished carousel. Uh, with uh, left and right controls, indicators on the bottom, and uh, there you have it. Okay, hope you enjoyed this, and please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.